Hello. Hola. I'm learning Spanish, did you know? Um, all right. So this is uh, from Gracie Griffin, who says, can you do a video on sugar and processed foods and if they're actually bad for humans like doctors and diet culture tells us? I'm in recovery from orthorexia and anorexia right now. I've overcome my fear of weight gain from sugar and carbs, but now my OCD is just worried that one day something that will do something bad to my body will make my heart unhealthy. My parents are making me have a milkshake every day and I'm just so scared that my body can't handle the sugar. Your body can handle the sugar. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that sugar is the healthiest thing to eat for everybody at every time in their life. But I am going to tell you that if you are in recovery from an eating disorder, that I believe that sugar is one of the healthiest things that you can eat. Now, if you think about it from just a common sense point of view, if you're in energy deficit, well, what is sugar? Energy. Yeah. So think about it. Deficit of energy. How do we fix a deficit of energy? We fix it with energy. That's all sugar is. It's energy dense food. Now, it gets a really bad everything sugar. Sugar is to blame for just about everything that's wrong with the world, according to some people. All I can tell you, though, is that I didn't eat sugar, or at least I tried not to for a really long time when I had an eating disorder, terrified of the stuff. And then when I went into recovery, I ate a lot of sugar. The irony is, is that, so say if I had an, eat, if I had an eating disorder 10, 12 years, then and I didn't really, I restricted sugar for a lot of that time. And then when I started eating, well, it was not even when I was in recovery, when I was binging pre-recovery, I was then probably eating that whole 10 years worth of sugar in a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, and guess what? Still here, aren't I? You know what? My body handled it. I wanted that sugar so badly. I really wanted that sugar. It tasted so good. I was eating... You know, there's sugar in the sugar, and there's sugary foods in there sugary foods, and I was just eating the pure, unadulterated sugar version of sugar. I was eating candy, um, and that was sort of, you know, candy. And then even when I ate something that was considered more savoury, it was still sugar. That's all I wanted to eat for a while. That's all I did eat for a while. And, of course, when that was happening, it worried me a little bit. I thought, hmm, it might not be good if this goes on for 20 years. But it didn't, because as I came out of energy deficit, and as my body and my brain got used to the fact that I was just going to let myself have as much sugar as I wanted, the novelty of it just started to wear off. As I came out of energy deficit, my body was just a bit like, well, I don't need as much of that, sh that energy right now, so I don't need it to always be eating quite as nutrient-dense foods. I could maybe, you know, fancy some other stuff. And um, I, I got a little bit bored of it, honestly. It was such a honeymoon period with that sugar. And then, you know, after a while, I was like, I don't even like candy. And if you don't restrict, if you really allow yourself to eat without restriction, here's the key to life, is it all balances itself out. If you look at what I've just told you, overall, so big restriction of sugar followed by big binging on sugar, followed by just probably what would be considered an average sugar consumption now, and if you look at who, if you took all of my life from when I was a kid to now, you probably would look at that and it would probably just all work out to be balanced out. So that massive restriction on sugar that I did was then balanced out by the massive binging on sugar that I did. And now I just would say, well, it's probably average or normal. So it's all balanced itself out. And that's why it works. When we try to artificially force ourselves to restrict something, we push ourselves out of balance. And then after a while, the body just goes, you're a fucking idiot. I need some sugar, dickhead. And then it gets really pissed off and it starts to binge. And then you're like, oh, I'm out of control. Because you are out of control. And then you restrict more and your body's just like, will you fucking quit? And so you binge it and then you just get into this. And you know what? If you just allowed yourself to eat some sugar, none of it would just all be normal. Anyway, so... I guess the short answer to that is yes, just just, just stop worrying about it. You know what? There's so many things to worry about in the world right now. It's kind of overwhelming. So I, I don't like recommend that you start worrying about those things, but just put it in perspective. Just stop worrying about your sugar consumption. Your body is this wonderful, amazing, miraculous thing. And 
it will work it out. But what you have to do is you have to start fucking listening. Yeah, you say that your parents are making you eat, drink a shake. I bet actually then, you know, I bet if you're honest, you really like that shake. And I bet if you're really honest, you probably would like more than one. I bet if you're really honest, you would like. It's not about other people making you eat sugar because you're in recovery. If you're really honest, you'll probably find that you would like some. And that's what you need to listen to because that desire feeling that we're all so terrified of when we have an eating disorder, guess what that is? That is communication from your body and your body knows what it's doing. That's all you have to remember is your body knows what it's doing. Your body is trying to survive. So get out of your head, shut up and drink a milkshake. All right, bye.